Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Ranking Member Toomey, for holding this hearing, and congratulations to the two of you for um, your, your nomination. Um, I'd just like to note at the start that America's financial markets are the envy of the world. We work very hard to create the most liquid, the most, um, the most efficient, uh, the greatest provider of low-cost capital in the world, and um, it's a privilege to access the American capital markets, and those that would act against U.S. interest should clearly be denied that privilege. That's the important role that the two of you are undertaking today, and I want to echo uh, Senator Menendez's comments. This is a critical tool of diplomacy that the two of you are going to be in a position to exercise. Um, I think both Mr. Nelson and Ms. Rosenberg, if you're confirmed, I think we'll have an opportunity to work closely together on matters of national security, on safeguarding our financial system, and constricting our enemies' access to a financial lifeblood that they may use to our detriment. I'd like to come back and follow up on something that um, Ranking Member Toomey highlighted, and that is some very reckless commentary by a member, a member of the State Department, uh, the Biden administration's State Department back in April, that the sanctions that were issued by the Trump administration were illegitimate somehow. Let me tell you, I worked my heart out in the last administration to impose sanctions on Iran, to get Japan to stop buying Iranian oil. Iran is the largest state sponsor of terror in the world. I want to ask both of you, first Mr. Nelson, then Ms. Rosenberg, do you think that those sanctions were illegitimate? Um, thank you, thank you, Senator, and, and thank you for the meeting and the and the time and the uh, frank conversation. Um, I'm not in the government uh, now, but I, I can speak from my uh, experience when I was at the National Security Division, working with the dedicated uh, career staff at Treasury, and um, I have every reason to believe um, that they are not only incredible public servants, but um, incredibly diligent in their work, and that was my experience of them, and I would have no reason uh, to question the evidentiary basis of any of the, uh, of the packages, sanctions packages that they produce. Um, and I would also um, just want to note that it would be um, really um, a wonderful opportunity to continue to think about and, and um, work together on how we can um, combat and address uh, through our sanctions programs and other tools, uh, Iran's ongoing facilitation of terrorism, um, their support for terrorist proxies and other malign acts. Um, and I would welcome the opportunity to work on those issues. With Thank you, Mr. Nelson. Ms. Rosenberg. <clears throat> Thank you, Senator, for the opportunity to share with you my views that the dedicated, excellent staff at Treasury who work on targeting, investigations, licensing, enforcement, have conducted themselves in an, the, in an excellent fashion and uh, have implemented their sanctions in this portfolio and in others uh, with great integrity. Well, beyond impinging the character of those who did this hard work, as uh, Senator Toomey underlined, it also runs the risk when we have these sort of reckless comments coming from State Department officials or, or any other officials in the administration. When they comment that our sanctions are somehow illegitimate or illegal, it exposes our entire sanctions framework to legal challenge, which again would be very much to the detriment of U.S. government activities in our efforts to impose sanctions. Again, a great diplomatic tool is, is highlighted by Senator Menendez. So I appreciate the fact that you agree with me that that was a reckless statement and that you would act, act accordingly uh, to, to uphold that. I'd also like to ask uh, both of you, uh, first Mr. Nelson and Ms. Rosenberg, if you'll commit to total transparency with this committee about the Biden administration's financial dealings with our adversaries. And here I'm thinking about the pallets of cash that we saw going to Iran. Mr. Nelson. Uh, thank you for that question, Senator. Um, you look, I think the, the committee's uh, oversight responsibility is incredibly important, and I would, um, I would communicate um, about that and every other uh, issue within its jurisdiction uh, as appropriate to the extent that I can. Thank you. Senator, I can commit to transparency and full and frank exchange uh, with this committee if confirmed. Thank you. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Hager.